Well, hello there, and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am Emma Follett, and I am a service pattern designer and an online coach. And I'm super excited to be here today because I actually want to talk a little bit about mindset. And specifically, I want to talk about the fact that what you focus on is how you end up feeling, meaning what you focus on is how you feel. And there are really three tips that I want to share with you today around how to kind of get around this, meaning how to understand how it is that you're feeling and what you might be focusing on that's making you feel that way. And then how to actually then shift your focus so that you actually can change your mood. And you can make sure that if you are actually feeling overwhelmed or depressed or uncreative or stuck with your creativity specifically, that there are three tips I have for you to help you get back on track. So tip number one is to shift your focus. And in order to shift your focus, you need to actually know and observe what it is that you're actually spending a lot of time on. And that's actually something that's really good for you to kind of spend a little bit of time realizing, okay, how do I spend my time? And in particular, one thing that can really lead to a lot of sort of negative feelings and a sense of overwhelm is watching a lot of news. The news has a tendency to always be either negative or to be harping on the same topic over and over and over again. And obviously, 2020 has been a very challenging year. And so the news has been negative almost all the time. So realize, take a little bit of time to realize how much of the news are you consuming? And could you actually shift your focus away from the news in order for you to both have time for other much more fun activities? And also to see if that helps you shift your mood. So that's tip number one, is to shift your focus. Tip number two is to focus on something positive. So here we are sitting towards the end of the year. I'm recording this in the middle of November. We're heading into the holiday season. The outlook right now in terms of the pandemic is not very positive. And so that could also make us all feel a little bit more depressed and kind of figuring, when is this ever going to end? And instead of actually kind of focusing on that topic, think about everything that you learned this year. So none of us knew at the beginning of 2020 that pretty much everyone, probably yourself included, would become an expert on Zoom, that you would become much more comfortable on the computer, that you would learn new ways to engage with your family and to reach out and to do either Zoom cocktails or Zoom family sessions or to get into a routine with some of your creative friends on Zoom because you can't get together in person. So thinking about the positivity or the way in which you actually have acquired some new skills this year, totally serendipitously because of the situation in which we find ourselves, that can actually make you realize, wow, I actually learned a lot of really cool things this year. And then tip number three, because of course I am a surface pattern designer and I teach people how to turn their doodles into dollars in both my free program from Doodles to Dollars and my signature eight-week program, the Pattern Design Academy, I want you to find a task that you love, something creative that you love to do, and renew your enthusiasm and your energy in doing that. And so, for example, if you're taking my surface design course right now, the Pattern Design Academy, lean into the module that we're in. Watch the lessons and do the exercises and create some more repeating patterns because it brings you joy and it's something that you know you want to spend time on and it's not too late for you to jump back in. Maybe you had to take a little bit of time off. Maybe you're also feeling a little stuck. Take a deep breath, but jump back in to a task that excites you. So those are my tips for the week about how to shift your focus so that you can bring joy into your life and realize that we are going to get through this crazy year in which we li- we're living. And we can do that by being together and by finding something more positive to think about and by leaning into a task that you really enjoy, a creative task specifically. I always like to say in closing that I am Anne Follett, and it's never too late to create. Bye for now and I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this broadcast, 
please go to my website, annelafollettart.com. What you see on screen is the cover image that you see as soon as you land on the website. And all the way at the bottom, you can follow me on Instagram at annelafollettart. And there's a link there for you to click on. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Anne LaFollett, and you can click on the subscribe button and then hit that little bell so that you're notified the next time I have a broadcast for you. Mm -hmm.